It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas everywhere you go. <laughs> Hi and welcome back to the channel. Um, my name is Eva and if you're coming across this channel for the first time, thank you for stopping by. And Merry Christmas! Is it Christmas already? <laughs> I'm in Christmas mood. <laughs> As you can see, I'm on theme. Huh? It's already Christmas. My God, I can't believe it. The year is done. Um, Christmas is around the corner. And I'm happy. I'm happy because Christmas is my favorite season of the year. I love Christmas. I love the vibe that Christmas bring. I love um, decorating for Christmas. I mean, I just love everything about Christmas. So today, as you can see the title of the video, for um, I'm doing a Christmas haul. Uh, um, I was, I was, I was. It's about time to put Christmas trees up really if you have not thought about it please think about it and let's put up christmas decor let's start getting into christmas spirits it's holidays it's a cheerful moment uh, good times happy times and all things that come with christmas so i was putting up my i was putting together my christmas decor for this year and uh, since I've added quite a number of um, pieces in my Christmas uh, collection, so I was like, why not? Let me do a small haul and show you what additional um, items I've gotten for this Christmas. Um, of course, I have my previous, um, what is it called? My previous stash, I mean, stash from last year and the last year in my Christmas tree, but as you all know, Christmas decoration is very expensive, so you can't can't buy everything at the same time. So I think the smart thing is just to keep on building up, buying little by little each year, and then you will be able to have a good collection of your Christmas decoration or decorating items. So um, I've got quite a number of pieces. Uh, so... I don't know where to start. Um, I had traveled. You can see this suitcase. <laughs> I had traveled. And yes, I came back with Christmas decor. Please. Yes. They deserve a place in my suitcase. If you've not watched my previous videos, go back and see where I went to and what I did. Um, I promise you will enjoy the series because I tried to... I tried to make it as real as possible, as interactive as I could. Um, vlogging when you're traveling is not easy unless you're a professional travel vlogger. But I was on holiday, but I was I tried my best to capture whatever I could um, for the channel. So I tried to to make it as real as possible. Because I thought if uh, someone wants to travel to the destination where I was, I was in Dubai, and probably you've not gone to Dubai before, and you'd like to know, is it a place worth going to? What do people do when they go there? Um, I tried to showcase that because uh, before I went, I looked for some videos to watch of what is new in Dubai, what are people doing in Dubai? And I got quite a lot of stuff, um, a lot of vlogs, but a lot of edited parts. You see someone getting into a van, uh, someone getting into a cab, the next minute they are eating dinner in a hotel, the next minute they are telling you I'm back in my room, the next minute, oh, this is the place where I am at. But I, as a person who wants to see, sorry, I digressed from Christmas, <laughs> From a, a perspective of someone who wants to see 
how Dubai looks like. I would like to see how do the streets look like. If you've gone to, G to the frame, how do you get there? How does the environment look like? What do people do when they get there? So um, I guess that was our, that is what I was trying to to capture in my vlogs. And um, if you have watched, I hope you have enjoyed. If you have not watched, kindly go to check um, my previous videos. You will see my content from Dubai. I had a lot of fun. I enjoyed myself. And yeah, I'm back. And it is Christmas time. Um, and now we are doing Christmas decorations. So I think, uh, I don't know where to start. I have a lot of stuff everywhere, but let me start with stuff. Uh, last week I went for Christmas shopping. I thought I will, um, I, I thought I will, <laughs> I will add quite a lot of pieces. <clears throat> Sorry. So last, um, last week I went for Christmas, uh, shopping. Um, I wanted to add a few pieces um, to my collection because uh, my Christmas theme this year, yes, Christmases have themes. You just don't throw things and say that you have decorated for Christmas. If you don't know what the themes for the year is, you can always check on on mid on social media on internet. You'll always find. Uh, different Christmas themes that you can choose um, for your home depending on what you want different colors um, so this year I think um, the general theme is um, a snowy white Christmas yeah so people are doing a lot of snow a lot of white and all that um, the snow bit comes with a lot of flocked trees and those white things and they make the house quite messy so I'm not looking for that theme but most definitely I wanted to incorporate a, um, some pieces of white um, a little bit of red and of course green green is the basic Christmas color I saw a very interesting theme pink mass um, I was tempted to do a pink Christmas but that meant doing a lot of you know <laughs> have to do a lot of shopping to to get into them but um maybe one day maybe one day i will do that for now uh let me show you what i got so i went to china square those who are in kenya you know china square um they have quite a bit of uh, christmas pieces and i thought i i had a budget because yeah i know myself um if I don't check myself, I can overspend. So I had a budget of how much I wanted to spend. And I went to the shop. Of course, there were, there were pieces. But then I, I, find, I found this tree. Yeah? A sherry tree that I've been looking for. And I couldn't leave it. So I, I bought the tree. And then I did not have enough money to buy my Christmas stuff. But the balance that remained from my budget, I bought some stuff. So let me show you what I got. So I got this, this white, what do we call them? They are cones. Yeah. So I got a few pieces of the white cones. Just um, as I said, I'm trying to incorporate some, quite a bit of white in my Christmas decoration for this year because um, what I have has a lot of uh, gold, has a lot of silver, has a lot of red and um, so I needed to, to get quite a number of pieces to beef them up so I got this, this, um, this corn, how do you call them, I hope you can see them, they are corn shipped uh, Christmas decorations so I got three packets uh, stuffing cup in um, in China Square and I'm not advertising I'm just saying so if you're looking for where to buy your your Christmas decorations you can you can know where to go and get them so 
I found them quite affordable. Uh, this this one maybe a hundred, hundred, hundred and twenty, or was it below a hundred Kenyan shillings per pack? So I got three of these. Then I got this. Um, what can you call it? It's a Christmas decor. I don't know if I should open them, but it's something for honey. Um, these things, most of them were between, actually below 200, most of them. The most of, the most expensive thing of what I'll show you here maybe is around 300 bucks. So I got this. No, okay, there's, there's an item that could be pricey. So I got this. It's, it's an ornament that you can hang uh, somewhere. Then, I got this um, these bowls, yeah. They're Christmas bowls, but they're plastic um, and they're velvet. So I thought they'd bring the snowy effect that I'm looking for in my white snowy Christmas theme. So this was also below 200. I'm sorry, I can't remember the specific prices but range between 200 sometimes some of them are going for 50 shillings depending on what you're looking for there are all types of ranges there they have a lot of uh, christmas lights if you're looking for lights ld uh, christmas deer and all those shipping you will find them at china square so if you need to get your stuff for christmas go go right now before people discover so I got this three. Then I got this. This this I think was about three hundred bob. Um, I also got it from China Square. Something you can just place on the on your what is what is what do you call this TV wall or something? Um, just to to add a touch of Christmas. Then I got uh, this. Hey, we need to open this one so that we can see how it looks in full. It's like a what? Hey. Yeah, looks like this. These are just random small. Small, small Christmas decor that you can use in your home. If you don't want to to go, if you're a person who doesn't like a lot of stuff, a lot of trees and glitter, you can just um, use small, small pieces like this and hang them on your wall, um, on your door, and it gives you the Christmas vibe. Yeah. So this is written joy. Yeah. It is written joy, and it has a like a Christmas bell over here. So I thought it's um, like a piece that I can use to hang somewhere in the bathroom or a space that I just want to bring in the Christmas vibe without uh, going overboard. Then I got some ribbons for the tree just to bring in a bit of color. Then I got these uh, Christmas balls. Oh, these are so cute. Again, you will not see a lot of color because I already have colored bulbs. And uh, I just wanted to add some white. So these are really nice, very nice details. I don't know if you can see. They have like a glitter and some pearls. And they're cute. They're cute and classy, right? Then, uh, I think this was the biggest part. Uh, yeah. yeah. This is a gallard. Um, how do I explain it? I want, I have an arc on my door. So I wanted something to frame the arc. So I can't open this one, but 
from the look of it, it comes already decorated with its own decorations, so it's just to hang it. Uh, the gallard was about what? 1800? 1800? Or something like that, around there. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to how this will come out. Because it looks, it looked really nice from the decorations that they are done on uh, in the shop. So I'm hoping that it is going to frame my, it is going to frame my arc beautifully. I can't wait to do the Christmas decorations by the end. Yeah, I will shoot that for you. I will show you all the process of what I will do. Yeah, so I think that's what that was all I got from China Square because <laughs> because <laughs> I blew my budget on something that I had not planned to buy. Am I an impulse buy? Yes, probably. <laughs> An impasse buyer. Am I a shopaholic? Yes. And I hope not to recover because I love shopping. I mean, yeah, it's like. So, the next item I got, the next item I got for this year's Christmas is this package from, from an Instagram page. It's called um, Smart Lady Homes. Yeah, so I got this from Smart Lady Homes, uh, and I love it. I love, I love, I love it. It's within my my Christmas colors for this year. So this is a, a dining table runner, and it looks like this. And it it really looks nice. I love, I love, I love. The seasonal uh, theme on this runner so I'm not planning to put a lot of stuff on my dining table so this is going to give the dining table the kick it deserves the, the holiday vibe that it requires so yeah if, if you are looking for Christmas stuff I think that shop um, they they have they have quite a, a lot of things, but most of the items I've read now, you guys have just bought everything Christmas. I thought it's too early for Christmas shopping, but I guess there are other people who are, who went before me. So most of the things I'm hoping um, people will even stop. But if you need a, a table runner like this, you can get it from. Smart lady homes. Look at look at the detail on this on this table runner. It looks so cute. I can't wait to style it on my dining table. Okay, so um, now to my suitcase. <laughs> I know you're wondering, hey, what did you bring all the way from Dubai that you cannot get from Kenya? Honestly, um, the reason why I bought these things, not because they are very unique, but it's, they were at a throwaway price. <laughs> it was just a, 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 a fraction. They were just a what we call it, mathematicians, help me, a fraction of what I would have bought them here. So, and um, I had space, I had kilos, <laughs> so I was like, why not? And honestly, there's no way I could see Christmas decoration, and it's around Christmas, and I just come back without buying anything for Christmas. Yeah, so we had to create space for, for the Christmas stuff. And ta-da! Ta-da! 
let me add this into the mix. So this was my Christmas stash that I came with. And imagine I brought pillows all the way. <laughs> my idea was I wanted the cushion covers, but they came with a pillow. And I thought I will throw away the pillow honestly and just come back with the cushion, but they're just light and they just fitted into my luggage. So I was like, ah, why am I throwing and I can bring it along? So I got these pillows, Christmas pillows. Um, they look cute. They're within my Christmas theme for the year. So I got these two that looks like this. Yeah, they look like that. And actually there are three. So I got three pillows. The aim was to come with the pillow covers, but they fitted. And then there was this, it's written, let it snow. And I think this is the theme for this year because most of the pillows, most of the decals, you find written, let, let it snow. So, yeah, it's Christmas. Let it snow. Even if it does not snow in Kenya, where I am, I hope it snows where it usually snows. So, nothing out of the ordinary. Just uh, small bits of Christmas pieces. I got this, um, okay, what do you call these things? The people that have gone to school. What do you call this? <laughs> that one that Santa drives. Ridia or something? Yeah. So it, it has greeters. That's why I'm holding it like this. So I got this. I thought it's a nice piece that I can, I can just place on top of my console in a corner somewhere, on a shelf somewhere, and just bring in the, the Christmas vibe without even trying. So I got this deer. Let me return it. Okay, not a deer. It's a red deer. Red deer. Yeah. If you have watched Christmas movies, Christmas stories, yeah, you know what I'm talking about. So these are things we used to read when we were small. And I think this Christmas vibe started long time ago because when we were growing up, there was always a Christmas tree. I don't know if you guys used to do that. There was always a Christmas tree. We'd go and look for the tree. We'd come and look for stones and and um, containers to put. And then we put it in the house. Um, then we'd hunt sweets and biscuits and fruits. I mean, it's, it's in Shags. It's up country. So anything could do and those shiny ribbons and it was such a special moment for me and it's always up to today um still a special moment for me when i'm doing christmas decorations um in primary we had um we we had a teacher from Scotland, mrs smith oh my god that woman there was mrs smith I was in a missionary school, so there was Mrs. Smith and there was Miss Susan, and that time's always, that time was Christmas vibe, doing Christmas cards. Uh, they taught us all the Christmas carols, so we could always sing Christmas carols and put our cards together. So I think I have grown up with that, and it has refused to leave, and I don't think that it is going to leave. So. If you seem me excited for this, these things, understand it is just the season. Um, so I got the beers, and then there's this, um, what is, what is this? We need to open some of them. Some of them was getting into the honesty. They are cheap. They are like, I think this was like 50 shillings. Um, so I was just getting things. This is written, um, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. So I thought it's something that 
I can just use to again bring wife to a space without trying. You don't need to fill your home with a lot of decor, just small small items that will bring in the Christmas vibe and that will do for you. Then <laughs> I got Santa. You guys can you believe? Can you believe I got Santa Claus? Santa Claus. Yeah, I got Santa. <laughs> this is Santa. <laughs> Hi Santa, welcome to the channel. So, <laughs> I thought it's really cute. Really, really cute. So, actually I got two Santas. Father Santa and Baby Santa. <laughs> okay, they are the same, but size. Uh, there's a back story of this. When I was shopping, I thought I do not have space for big Santa. But I still wanted to get a Santa. So I was like, because of space, let me get the smaller Santa. So I got the small Santa. And when I was packing my suitcases, I, everything fitted them. There was space. I was like, hey, we need to go back and get the big Santa. There was even a bigger one, but I was like, hey. Continue yourself, madam. So I got this one. So that's why I have to, but I'm, I'm sure, I'm so, so, so sure I will find space for both of them during my decorations. So I got small for Santa. <laughs> I got small Santa and then I got the big Santa. This is a nice addition to my Christmas decorations, to be honest. Um, yeah, I can't wait to... To do the, to put up the Christmas. Like I hope uh, the next video will, ab will be about uh, me putting up Christmas trees. And I got a lot of this in there into my theme this year. So these are smaller ones and these are golden. I don't even want to remove them because they have, they have the, the glitters and I don't want to deal with that right now. So I got those. Then I also got these cute balls. White and red. White on them. Not too much, but the red is just on them. So I got two of them. And when I add with my China Square uh, collection, then I'm sure my tree will look awesome okay uh, what else did i get oh i got this uh, it's a santa boot <laughs> hey i don't know when... i don't know i don't know who decided to steal santa's boot <laughs> but this is how it looks like and it is cute Again, um, if you don't want to do a lot, look for pieces that you can just place around your home that will instantly bring in that Christmas vibe. Can you imagine this one on that shelf? Complete decoration for that space without even trying. Okay, so there's this boot, and I think I think that's what I got. Right, so um, that is my new addition <laughs> to my Christmas um, to my to my Christmas decor. Um, I'm looking forward to I'm looking forward to doing the, the putting up the Christmas tree and the decorations. I don't know why I'm late this year. I'm always on the point. Oh, there was a star. I got a tree topper. It's just a usual star for the top of the Christmas tree. So I'm looking forward to doing my Christmas decor in this house. Um, I can't wait to take you along. Um, we do the decorations together and then we can see how it will turn out. 
I'm excited. I know it will look very nice already. Um, yeah. So I hope you have enjoyed the video. I hope um, I have given you some pointers. If you've been wondering what you're doing for Christmas this year, if you've been wondering what kind of pieces you can incorporate in your Christmas decoration, I hope um, my small haul has given you some ideas of what you can do for for your Christmas decorations. So thank you so much for watching this video up to this point. Um, if you have not subscribed to this channel, what are you waiting for? Huh? Kindly subscribe. Um, give my videos a thumbs up. Are very important so that I can know that you're enjoying my content. And I will see you on my next one. And Merry Christmas! Or is it too early to say Merry Christmas? Anyway, let's let's wait for December to start saying Merry Christmas. But for now, thank you for um, thank you for watching up to this point, and uh, I will see you on the next one. Goodbye, Santa. Say bye. Say goodbye. <laughs>